Hey everyone, it's Alexander Robinson. Welcome to the channel, and this is my review for Civil War, which is the fourth movie to be directed by Alex Garland. The movie takes place in a world where a second American Civil War has broken out. There is a good chunk of the United States that is still loyal to most of the country, but then you have the Florida Alliance, the New People's Army, and the Western Forces, which is basically an alliance between California and Texas, which... I, I have some stuff to say about that. But anyway, the movie follows a journalist, a photojournalist played by Kirsten Dunst, who along with some colleagues of hers are going to try to make a drive from New York to DC to try to interview the president, who the movie implies was responsible for this war kicking off. Joining them on this road trip is a young up and coming journalist played by Kaylee Spaney. And the movie is basically these people trekking across the United States trying to avoid all the horrors of this civil war. So the reason this review is being posted a little later than usual is because, and I'm not making this up, I was out of the country when this movie was getting released. I was actually in Antigua, Guatemala for a friend's wedding, and I just thought, wow, a movie about a fictional American Civil War comes out the very same weekend I am out of the United States. The irony is strong with this one. Uh, but anyway, I finally got to see the movie. I saw it the day after I got back from Guatemala. And I was looking forward to this because Alex Garland is a director that is always piquing my interest. I loved Ex Machina. I really admire Annihilation. I can't claim to say I get it, but it's just really cool and unsettling. Men is weird. Like, it's a bizarre movie that I do not understand whatsoever, and in my opinion, it's his worst movie. So now we've got Civil War, which is certainly better than Men, but I don't think I love this movie as much as most people do, nor am I that creeped out by it. I'll explain later in the review, but for right now, I want to talk about the stuff that I really liked about the movie. Despite what I said about not being too creeped out about it, this is a very tense movie. There are a lot of sequences throughout that will just have you on the edge of your seat. The action is very well shot, and the characters are interesting enough to where you fear for their lives. There are certain situations they get into throughout the movie where you don't know what's going to happen to them. If you've seen the trailer, you know there's that infamous moment where we see Jesse Plemons and he's basically threatening the main characters. That scene goes on for longer, obviously, and is very tense. And part of that does have to do with Jesse Plemons because the dude's just naturally creepy. I mean, he's creepy in Breaking Bad as Creepy Todd. Even in comedic roles like the cop in Game Night, he's still creepy as hell. And with Civil war, his creepiness is probably at another level, just because you're watching this with such a nervous feeling towards what's happening. And the movie is very good at putting you on the edge of your seat when you think these characters are in real danger. And speaking of the characters, they're all played by really good actors. Kirsten Dunst is the lead in this movie, and she does a fantastic job at playing this stone-cold photojournalist who has pretty much seen everything. She has seen all the horrors that war has to offer, and she's just not phased by it at all. And then on the opposite end, you have Kaylee Spaney, who pretty much idolizes Kirsten Dunst's character, and is the total opposite. Like, she's wide-eyed, she wants to get out in the field, but she has no idea the horrors that war can deliver. And as the movie progresses, both of their character arcs are basically intertwined with each other, and it does lead to a tragic end. I won't say exactly what happens, but it's tragic for both characters. I was also quite surprised at how short this movie was. It's around two hours, which is a blessing in the sense that the movie never feels like it's dragging out, but it's also a curse considering that its subject matter is something that could have been explored much deeper. Because one of the big issues I have with this movie, and the thing that keeps me from loving it, is that it's very vague. We don't get an explanation of how this civil war actually started. There are so many ideas scattered throughout this movie about this world that go unexplored. For example, our characters arrive in a town that is very peaceful. There are no militarized forces throughout, and if there are, they're very minimal, mainly because the people just try to pretend that 
this war is not happening. And it's just one moment that the movie suddenly moves past. Uh, a lot of people have been calling this vague approach to the war as cowardly or undermines the point of the movie. And I think cowardly is a bit of a stretch because on further consideration, while I would have loved a more insightful knowledge of this world, uh, I think the war is just more of a backdrop to what the movie's actually about, uh, which is how photojournalists react to the stuff that they have to report. There are a lot of horrific moments that have happened throughout the history of not just the country, but the world. Uh, and the way a lot of these journalists report on these moments, uh, they just find themselves to be stone cold. Uh, and maybe it's just professionalism. I'm saying this as an outsider, but it could very well be that They've seen a lot, so they're just not phased by a lot of the horrors that they see that we aren't exposed to. But if I may backtrack to the vagueness of this war, this is one of the main reasons why I wasn't creeped out or as disturbed by this movie as so many other people. Because not only are all the details of this fictional war surface level and not delved into, but it gets to the point where it can be flat out silly. I mean, an alliance between California and Texas? That's preposterous. That borders on the level of fantasy. This is coming from somebody who was born in San Antonio, Texas, but was raised out here in Los Angeles. Like, I love California, and I love San Antonio and Austin, Texas. I have a soft spot for those two parts of Texas, but even I can say that an alliance between these two states is just superficial beyond belief. Plus, the very concept of a second American Civil War, if it were to happen in real life, is Total bullshit. I don't think a second civil war is ever going to happen because the people calling for one are just beating their chests and uh, not providing anything to back up their claims. That's one of the reasons why this movie didn't creep me out. I'm reminded very much of Joker. When that movie was coming out, a lot of people were terrified of what that movie was going to do in terms of leaving an impact on society. And all it did at the end of the day was just make a bunch of people want to dance on those stairs. That's it. And while Civil War is a really good movie, I just don't think it's that great of a movie, which is basically my rating at the end of the day. It's very well shot, well directed, the performances are fantastic, though because of its lack of detail in terms of the actual war in this movie, I didn't find myself as disturbed as many other people, mainly because there's a lot of real world things happening out there right now that are far more disturbing than what this movie has to offer, so that's another reason why, but at the end of the day, I enjoyed this movie a lot, and while I believe this movie is just good but not great, my opinion on this movie between seeing it and recording this review have greatly improved, so I'm curious to see if my opinion changes as time goes on. And there you go, that's my review for Civil War. I hope you enjoyed it. And before I go, I wanted to briefly say that I did pass 10,000 subscribers a month ago. I made a YouTube short clip about it, thanking you all for the support, and I also mentioned that there's gonna be a few changes to the channel. You may have noticed that in the past four reviews that I've done, Godzilla Kong The New Empire, Monkey Man, Commando, and Civil War, I've been wearing this denim jacket in every single video, and in three of the four videos, I've been wearing this shirt. Well, that's because I want to basically establish a permanent wardrobe for myself when I do these videos. Uh, so this is basically my wardrobe, a denim jacket, a button-up shirt, but the shirt will change if I have something to go with whatever movie or TV show I'm talking about. If I'm reviewing something Star Wars related, I'll be wearing a Star Wars shirt. If I'm reviewing something Godzilla related, a Godzilla shirt will be on my body. You get the point. I'm just basically trying to keep up a look for this channel now that I've hit almost 11 years and 10,000 subscribers. So again, thank you all so much for the support. Thank you for the subscriptions and watching these videos. And now I wanna know what you guys think about Civil War. If you've seen it, whatever your opinions are, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button to get notifications. If you wanna find me elsewhere on YouTube, you can check out my Theme Park and Travel channel, Alexander Robinson Travel channel, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Letterboxd, Threads, I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a good day and take care of yourselves.